everyone, my name is Eddie, as known as Smoke to Skin, here to provide you with some skincare knowledge, mental health, and just a little bit of me. For today's video, we're covering my new Holy Grail sunscreen. Yes, you heard me. This sunscreen blows everything I've ever tried out of the water. And that sunscreen is the Face Shield Sun Forgettable Total Protection in Shade Matte. SPF 50 PA++++. So as every skincare and sunscreen video, I'm going to go through different things. First of all, I'm going to go in with the ingredient list. Then I will go in with application on itself, then how it went throughout the day. Then I'm going to do reapplication, how it acts on top of itself. And thirdly, how it acts under and over makeup. But disclosure, just so you know, this um, is not something I would put on top of makeup. So I will not be doing on top of makeup, but I will be doing under makeup and that performant. So let's get into it. But before we do that, I do want to ask you to please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It would mean the world to me if you help me get there. Also, leave a comment. Talk to me about skincare. I love getting to know my skincare community. Let me know what you think of this sunscreen. And if this sunscreen isn't really that you're calling, let me know what's your favorite sunscreen right now. That would be awesome. First things first, Color Science as a company, I absolutely love them. I was actually luck, one of the lucky few skin influencers, um, one out of three actually, um, to be on a call with them and their whole team talking about this new release as well as their new Flex, which that is going to get a whole other video, so stay tuned. But this one, they were talking about how they formulate their sunscreens. And these two new ones were not, you know, left behind. The way they coat their zinc oxide particles, they triple coat them, meaning they make a shield around your face that is more like, like less likely to have any gaps. It just really makes a nice even shield, hence total protection face shield. They do a really good job patenting that. I mean, they patented it, but they do a really good job just formulating that. So it is the utmost protection. It makes this great shield. It's not faulty. And it's just something that's going to really work for your skin. And the fact that it's four pluses, they upgraded from the three PA pluses. And a reminder, the pluses stand for UVA. So if they protect from aging rays. So this one has all four pluses opposed to the old face shield or the other members of the face shield family, which only have Three. Three is still wonderful, but the fact that they got four, there's no room for growth. It's, this is it. But when it comes to ingredients, they have something also called Invero Screen Technology. So not only does it have a great UVA and UVB protection through the zinc oxide particles, it also protects from blue light, infrared light, and pollution. So three things that we're learning about recently, but three things that affect your skin over time. They take a little bit longer than UVA and UVB to affect your skin. UVB, you know, I got burned. UVA, you start going, oh no, what's going on? Why do I look older than all my friends? But with that, it takes even longer. So by the time you notice anything, you are a little bit, not late to the game, but you could have done something a long time ago. So the fact that this has everything you need for protection from the sun, from pollution, from our computers and digital devices, and from visible light, it's just amazing. When you have this on in any of their family, their face shield family, you know you are protected. So when I talk about color science, no, this is my baby. I love her. So ingredients, let's get into them. So I talked about all the protection, but now let's talk about how this benefits your skin on top of protecting it. So first of all, niacinamide. It got that niacinamide. I love niacinamide. That is just perfect for toning down redness, finding blemishes, just helping your skin just excel. And it's so good for your pores. It's really, really just, you know, your bread and butter ingredient by now. You should know what niacinamide is, but it's a vitamin B3, I believe. And that's what really just helps your skin do its best. It also has a more bioavailable form of vitamin E. So that's really going to help from environmental protection, but also stabilize your vitamin C. And I always advocate using a vitamin C serum in the morning just so it helps 
fight off free radicals and even out your skin tone throughout the day. It's such a great um, ingredient to put under your sunscreen during the day. So the vitamin E in here is going to stabilize that vitamin C. And not only is it going to do that, vitamin E is also going to help even out your skin tone and just help your skin do its best. This also has an ingredient I've never heard of, but so far it's holding true. It has silver ear mushroom extract, which apparently claims to have more hydration than hyaluronic acid. As we know, hyaluronic acid holds 1,000 times its weight in hydration. So silver ear mushroom exceeding that is wonderful. I'm assuming it's between that and polyglutamic acid, which holds, I think, 4,000 times its weight. So maybe silver, silver ear mushroom is in the middle, or maybe acts like polyglutamic acid. I still need to research it, but all in all, this one being the matte version does hydrate my skin. I have it on today. I have some powder on top, and it's a hot day, you know, and I got humectants on. I'm hydrated. I'm sweaty. I'm hot, but I don't feel dry, and even though it's matte, it's keeping me hydrated, but also helping tame that oil, which is relatively hard during summer. So for ingredients, it's wonderful. It protects you, it helps even out skin tone, it helps hydrate, and it just has those ingredients that helps protect you throughout the day. Now, we're gonna go into the tint. So the tint is absolutely wonderful. It is this beige tint that I Love. I made a reel on my Instagram um, with Color Science, but look at that. Their original is like a pink tint that, to be honest, I don't think really helped hide the white cast. I think maybe you had pink undertones and helped, but for me, for me, it never helped. But look at that. Look at that. No whiteness. And I'm tan, and it blends right in, and it just helps you look like you, especially if you have beautiful skin with melanin in it. Melanin in it. I said it right. But the tint is so wonderful. It helps even out skin tone, even though it blends in invisibly. It just helps your skin look so nice and refined. And honestly, using this, I've been using this every day because I love it, even during summer. And I have no need to put anything else on top. Um, I haven't used my fancy skin tint. I haven't used, you know, like maybe concealer. I haven't used another tinted sunscreen on top just to like even out skin tone. This, even though it's basically invisible, it just helps your skin look awesome. I love it. And then hot tip, when I talk about the Flex sunscreen, using this in tandem with that, oh, so good. So we got to the ingredients, the brand, and the tint. Now we're gonna go into application. So day one. So day one, I applied it and it just sank in beautifully. It helped me just feel even and like mattified and helped just end my skincare routine on the best note possible. Even that day on Instagram, I put some videos up and people were like, oh my God, you're glowing. And I'm like, yeah, but I put the matte on. So one thing I do want to disclose is that even though it's matte, it's not a flat matte. It's a natural matte that keeps your oils at bay, refines your pores, blurs them, keeps you looking good, but it's not going to dry you out, nor is it meant to dry you out. So with that being said, matte is not a flat matte. It's a hydrated, wonderful matte. So it, day one, it acted really, really nicely. I enjoyed wearing it all day and just feels like nothing on your skin, yet you look awesome. So no complaints there. Second day, we did a reapplication. And when I reapplied it on top of it, I will say this, it did feel a little bit heavy, but that just is how mineral sunscreens work. Mineral sunscreens sit on top of the skin, they form a barrier, it's zinc oxide, it's mineral. And adding more mineral on top of mineral, it's just gonna feel a little heavier. So I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying this looked heavy or it was extremely heavy, it just did, you know, it built up a little, but that being said, it wasn't that bad for a mineral sunscreen being built on top of itself. Did not pill did not look funky, did not pick up dry spots, 
and it just made my skin look awesome again. And if anything, it helped mattify my skin even more because of the hot weather in Los Angeles. So second day reapplication, flawless, seamless, no issue there. Third day, so I use this under makeup because they don't say it doubles as a makeup primer, but when I put this on, when you put this on, you're gonna go, oh yeah, this is gonna be an awesome sunscreen slash primer because it just leaves your skin ready for the day, smooth, and you're gonna want to experiment with it. So I did experiment with it. I did apply my Fenty Skin Tint on top of this guy, and today, of a powder foundation on top, and it's seamless. It is awesome. It is looking bomb, dude. So, with that being said, I've said that being said like four times, I'm so sorry. With this and makeup, it just worked magnificently. I feel like, this is my new go-to sunscreen if I know I'm gonna use a complexion product for the day, which is rare, right? Because of COVID, we're indoors. But nowadays, things are opening up, California's open up, so, and I'm recording more, so there's more opportunities for me to play with makeup products or play with a tint or play with something. And this, I think, is not my go-to. Like, if I know I'm gonna do it later, this is what I'm gonna use. Because it does and make it make the application process so much easier and I can rely on this. It did not make it funky, did not make it attached to anything, did not make it overly greasy. It was just beautiful. And honestly, that's all I have to say. Like, this works in all regards. This is why this is my holy grail sunscreen. You knew from the beginning I was gonna hype this up. 10 out of 10, 100%. There's nothing wrong I can say about this. The only thing I can see, which is just the nature of the game, you, you can't win, you know, you can't please everyone. The beige tint, obviously, it's a little bit more beige. Therefore, it's gonna fit a little bit better for people like me. But if you're fair or more of paler skin tone, this might show up a little orange or tan on you. So, you know, hey, there's a lot of sunscreens out there for fair skin tones. <laughs> so just take that with a grain of salt, just know that. Um, but all in all, I love this sunscreen. It is the best and my skin always looks better after I wash it off. These ingredients go to work to help your skin and even out skin tone over time with vitamin E and niacinamide and preventing the sun from exacerbating anything on your skin. Zinc oxide is going to soothe your skin and it has bisabolu, I forgot that, which is a chamomile extract so it's going to help soothe the skin. Definitely recommend this after post procedure and exfoliating the day prior, this would really help soothe your skin. And just a reminder, I do have a 20% coupon code in the bio. Please use the link down below with the code. If you use the link, it earns me a small commission. It does help me out as a content creator. And I would so appreciate if you did. Obviously, no pressure. But that is my review. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope that really, really helped you. I love this sunscreen. I hope you guys think of me when you see the sunscreen because this sunscreen is everything. I love it, I urge you to go get it now, especially for summer. And this is gonna protect you all summer, all year round. All right guys, thank you for joining me. Have an awesome day, all right?